The sun bled crimson on the horizon, painting the vast canvas of the Mongolian steppe in fiery hues. A biting wind, carrying the whispers of a thousand nomadic journeys, whipped across the grassy plains, stirring the long grass into a rippling sea. Here, beneath the boundless sky where eagles soared and wolves howled, a legend was about to unfold. Born Temujin, the youngest son of a proud Mongol chieftain, his life mirrored the harsh beauty of his surroundings. He entered the world amidst the tumult of a fierce winter, his cry echoing through the felt walls of the family G.R. Even as a babe, Temujin displayed a spark of defiance, his piercing eyes hinting at a spirit untamed. From a tender two years old, Temujin was steeped in the harsh realities of nomadic life. His father, Yasujii, a chieftain revered for his wisdom and bravery, instilled in him the values of horsemanship, archery, and the fierce loyalty that bound their tribe together. Days were spent astride nimble ponies, traversing the endless grasslands, hunting for food and learning the art of survival on the unforgiving steppe. However, fate, a capricious entity in the vast tapestry of existence, cast a dark shadow over Temujin's idyllic childhood. When he was barely nine summers old, tragedy struck. A rival clan, harboring a festering animosity towards Yasujii, ambushed and poisoned the chieftain. The world that Temujin knew, once anchored in his father's unwavering leadership, crumbled around him. Left vulnerable and stripped of their holdings, Temujin's family was ostracized by their former allies. Their once proud girl now stood desolate, a testament to their fallen fortunes. Hunger gnawed at their bellies, and the unforgiving winter loomed large on the horizon. Temujin, though young, felt the weight of responsibility settle upon his small shoulders. The years that followed were a crucible of hardship. Temujin and his family were forced to subsist on meager scraps, foraging for edible roots and berries. They became nomads without a tribe, constantly on the move to avoid the wrath of their enemies. Yet, within the harsh lessons of survival, Temujin's spirit grew stronger. He learned to hunt with cunning, to track like a wolf, and to endure the harshest elements with steely resolve. One fateful day, while scavenging for food on the unforgiving plains, Temujin stumbled upon a hidden cave nestled within a rocky outcrop. Curiosity overcoming his fear, he ventured into the cool darkness. Inside, a sight unfolded that would forever alter the course of his life. Nestled amongst the rocks lay a den of wolf pups, their mewling cries echoing through the cavern. Standing protectively over them was not a hulking wolf, as Temujin had expected, but a she-wolf, her fur the color of twilight, her eyes gleaming with an otherworldly intelligence. As their gazes met, a sense of kinship, an understanding that transcended language, bloomed between them. The she-wolf, sensing no threat from this young human, allowed him to remain. Over time, an extraordinary bond formed. Temujin became a part of the pack, learning the ways of the wolf, the silence of the stalk, the cunning of the hunt, the loyalty that bound the pack together. He ran with the wolves, hunted alongside them, and even howled at the moon, 
his voice rising in a primal chorus that resonated with the wild spirit of the steppe. Years flowed into one another, seasons changing like the colors of a nomad's rug. Temujin grew into a powerful young man, his body honed by years of hardship and his spirit imbued with the untamed wildness of the wolf pack. His senses were sharper than any human, his awareness of his surroundings heightened by the wolf's keen perception. He was a creature of two worlds, straddling the line between man and beast. One crisp autumn morning, while tracking a herd of wild horses across the plains, Temujin encountered a group of Mongol warriors. They were a hunting party, their leader, a formidable warrior named Jamuka, recognizing Temujin from his childhood. Though surprised to see the young chieftain's son in such wild circumstances, Jamuka saw in Temujin a kindred spirit, a man of strength and resilience. Temujin, hesitant at first, found himself drawn to the camaraderie of the warriors. He longed for the warmth of a tribe, the strength of shared purpose. Jamuka, sensing this yearning, offered Temujin a place within his ranks. Torn between the loyalty he felt towards his wolf pack and the call of his human heritage, Temujin faced a difficult choice. Ultimately, the desire to forge a path beyond the confines of his wild existence led him to accept Jamuka, 